Alright y'all, what's going on? It's your boy Coach Anthony. I got another video for you guys. and something a little bit different. Um, something that I think you guys might like because a lot of this stuff you guys see on mint work. And sometimes people may have the misconception that it's fancy mint work or the mint work has no, um, no meaning to it, no realistic to it. Maybe guys watch one too many Floyd Mayweather videos or whatnot. So maybe of, of him hitting the mitts or trainers trying to emulate it. And sometimes fundamental mint work gets a bad rap because it looks similar to some of this stuff. So basically I'm just gonna cut to it and explain to you why a lot of us trainers use certain combinations. And maybe some of you guys are using this and don't even know why you're just doing it because you saw somebody else use it. But I'm gonna break it down, okay? So this is gonna be a real simple one. I might do a series on this, I don't know. But one, two, three, two, roll under, two, three, two, jab back. Okay, now, I'm gonna explain the whole combination for you guys, all right? And then I'm gonna explain to you why I do that. All right, so let's go ahead and do it quicker. All right, now, that three jabs at the end, it's just a standard jab number I like to do. It could be two, it could be three, it could be four, it could be five in reality, okay? It's really up to the trainer at that moment on what he's trying to focus on. But that's why I go slow. One, two, three, two, he goes under. Obviously he goes under with the step, which I'm a big component of taking that step when you roll to the right, because it clears the right hand. All right, so that's the first thing, all right? So let's go back. He's creating an angle. One, two, three, two, roll, creates the angle, gives me the combination, okay? Now, if he decides to cross back to his left in that situation, which you had that option if you want to, okay? Maybe you like giving misdirection or whatnot. Bop, 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 he goes under, he runs that combination. Now he wants to stop there, he wants to come back to his left. Don't punch, just walk back to your left. Boom, walks into the right hand. But him firing that double and triple jab prevents me from throwing mines and it brings him back to this side safely. So let's go ahead and run it quick. Bop, 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 bop. Okay? And in boxing, a good offense cannot be countered. It can only be defended. And what ends up happening is if he does all of that properly, you know what I mean? Those three jabs at the end are going to prevent me from firing because I got to think defense now, okay? And that's the reason why we like to run that jab at the end of our combinations. It also puts you back in position. Okay, similar like finishing a combination with a left hook. When you finish with a left hook, it puts you back in position also, but that's something else. Now, if I decide that I don't want to bring him back, because I'm also a big component of this. One, two, three, two, roll. If you're on this side, let's say he fires this, stay on this side. Just keep going. Just stay on that side. I like doing that too. I might like that more. So let's go ahead and run this back. One, two, three, two, roll. Now I gotta go looking for him, okay? Now you can also backward measure out, that's something else. But do it again. Pop, 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 pop. He's measuring out just in case I come close, he can keep me out of bed. But those are your options in those situations. It's not just fancy mint work, it's realistic. So you have options. If you're gonna cut back to your left without any punches, you're gonna run into some problems. So the jab is the key. When in doubt, jab out. And if you're already on the right side of your opponent, stay on that side. You can do both, but you just have to know what to do in whatever situation you're in. I hope that helps. Go to the website. Check it out, CoachAnthonyBoxing.com. Got more heat coming to you, man. Stay tuned. Boxing. Right